Hello friends, I wanted to make a video of everything that I made from January 1st and right now it's the last weekend in January so it's January 29th. Um, this doesn't have a process video, the next two that you will see. Uh, this was my trip to Lake Tahoe this past year. I'm really trying to get some of that done so I can have one year at least finished. And it's really nice because everything looks really cohesive because I've used citrus twist kits now um, for the past year. But in any case, I really love watching these videos. I don't know why. I just like a recap of everything that someone did. I, I don't. I don't know why. These are one of my favorite videos to watch in the scrapbooking world. So please give this a thumbs up or put a comment below and let me know if you like seeing these. Um, then this one, I don't love. I just wanted to use this horse paper because this is literally probably the only time I'm going to have a picture of a horse. But this was when I went to my stepdad sister's dairy farm. And I used some stamping there, which I never really stamp on on to photos. But I thought it would be a really good embellishment. And then this doesn't have a process video. I used up some of a Pink Paisley collection that I had. And this was our trip to a winery on our way to Morro Bay. And these are my favorite alphas of 2016 that I received. I just love how simple they are. They fit awesome in Project Life pages. And I don't know why, I must use a lot of blue in my layouts so I tried to use up every single word phrase I could possibly use um, with these alphas and this was a eight and a half by eleven page then these two don't have process videos because I did copy some of the sketches that I saw online um, this is using the Simon Says Stamp January 2017 kits and I gotta say I don't know who I'm gonna give these cards to uh, they don't necessarily say anything like a happy birthday, like a very simple card, but, um, I just kind of wanted to craft one day. This will have a process video coming up. It's a very simple, easy birthday card that I made using Power Poppy stamps. And I got that stamp set for Christmas, so I wanted to make a quick birthday card. I actually made two of these that you'll see. Then this one is one of my favorites that I made for the month and it's using some crepe paper papers that I had left over from 2016 and some alphas that I had left over. I just really really loved this page and then I made an adjacent page using the same papers with uh, more photos and these two go together and you'll see a process video of how I made these two pages coming up uh, within the next couple weeks. And then this is another one of my favorite pages that I believe is coming up. But I did do a process video for this using this gorgeous cut file that was free. And I'll link that below in my process video for when I post that. And got some stuff done from 2013. That's when we dressed up as Austin Powers. Then this is the adjacent page, uh, pocket page with more pictures. Um, and I use some of the same papers to match the other side so it looks good together and you will see a process video on this shortly if it's not already up and then this you won't see a process video on it's just us building um, our cardboard boat for the regatta nothing too special use some of the same colors um, kept it fairly simple wanted to use some of the ephemera pack that I had not um, quite sure pretty much everything that you see in this video I use is from citrus twist um, this is from the kit this month minus this wood grain paper that I used to cut out happy 2017 and this was a free cut file I will be uploading this video as well so you can see how I um, made this as well as where I got the cut file from and all the cut files that I used this month were free. I kind of discovered them. It was like my month of silhouette. <laughs> I love being able to use them, or use my silhouette. This is another silhouette page that I don't believe is up yet. And it just is together using the Heart Day by Crepe Paper. Um, if you want to see how I made this, I will be putting that up shortly. Did some mixed media. 
as well as some paper backing. This was probably my second favorite layout of the um, month. This is my second least favorite layout of the month. I don't know why, I just didn't love it. So there's a process video on that if you're interested in seeing how I made it and you do like it. <laughs> Um, this isn't a process video, it just documented my boyfriend playing at Six Pack in Chicago. Um, I did a little bit of journaling just to say how awesome it was watching him play at such a competitive level. Um, so I posted these, or I didn't make a process video on that, but I did make a process video on this and it is up currently on my channel. Um, this is when we went to Chicago on a boat ride for work. And it was like our summer work party. Uh, so you can see how I made both of these pages uh, on my channel currently. And I love making double-sided pages match. I think it's fun when you have a lot of photos. And you can add a bunch of embellishments to tie everything together. This is the last layout that I made in the ugliest of January. I think it was like the first one that I made. I just had to kind of get back into the groove of things after Christmas. But... Um, yeah, these were all of the layouts that I made this month. I made a total of 19 things, and I do think that there were maybe two or three cards that I made that I've already given away. Um, if you, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my link below. You'll be able to see pretty much everything that I create, even if I'm not posting it or able to put it in a process video or in a summary wrap-up video. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please, please let me know if this is something that you like watching. If not, no worries. Um, sometimes it's nice for me to just look back and see what my productive months were. And this was definitely a productive month. And I'm so happy to be able to put this back into my albums and give away these cards. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.